Megan and I are off to the north of Bali. Sakam Pum Fall. Some second pool. Second pool. Something like that. Waterfall and also the Bali gates. And we're actually picking up a friend in Ubud on the way. I just picked up a SIM card and the lady did try and rip me off because I was trying to get the thing to work. And then she's like, oh yeah, the SIM card doesn't work. And I was like, well, why would you sell it to me? So then I was like, do you have one that works? And then I ended up getting like a 10 gig for 85,000, which is like... 300,000 less than I paid when I first got here for my 12 gigs that didn't actually have 12 gigs on it So you know what you always just like face different problems in Southeast Asia with things um, Whether it's a sim card or just various other problems, but that's the fun of traveling problem-solving It's just the way you look at it folks Tell me if I got it wrong, but you don't want to be alone special guest. <laughs> I told them we were picking up a special guest in Ubud. Aww. Lisa! Hi guys! You guys should check out her Instagram. It's really bomb. Also too, she's Canadian, which is so amazing. Yay! So, Canadian love! I'm gonna leave her link below. Hi there. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, okay, so we've arrived at Sakampol Suc <laughs> Waterfall. <laughs> And um, it's currently pouring rain, which is a little bit concerning. I don't really know how long it's gonna take to get down there. I see people walking in a poncho with a lady in a yellow shirt. Apparently you can hire people to walk you down or you can walk down yourself and you don't actually need to hire someone. So we're gonna see where the wind takes us. There's our lovely driver. He was driving like a million miles an hour around the hill. I was actually scared at one point because he was going so fast up the hill and we had to swerve to like miss people like five times, but we made it alive and that's all that matters. <laughs> We've stopped off basically right before the entrance of where you walk down. This is <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this is her solution to not getting her. <laughs> I mean, it's smart, but it's she like made the hole way too big. In theory. <laughs> Anyways, we put these things on our little backpacks um, because we obviously have our cameras in here, and I think it's quite a bit of a hike down. We're gonna just get soaking wet, and I already know it. I don't know if we're gonna wait out the rain or it's gonna just keep raining, so we might just need to go. Being from Vancouver, I really don't like walking in the rain, which is kind of funny. We're gonna do our best. I'm really excited about this waterfall, though. I don't know how long of a hike down it is, so I'm gonna report back to you guys. But we're all currently stuck under an umbrella. I can't really hold the camera that far away from my face because it's absolutely pouring rain. When we were on our way down, some people were like, oh, it's like a 45 minute hike. It actually wasn't that at all. It was like a 15 minute walk and a path, and then like 100 steps down there. The way up is gonna be a little different, but it actually isn't as bad to get here as we thought. And you can take a motorbike as well, which is kind of nice. But this is absolutely stunning here. I'm gonna switch to B-roll because this is gonna look a lot better that way. So we have found yet another waterfall right behind us. Megan accidentally slipped off a rock and almost dunked her 1DX in the water. Moment of panic. Megan's kind of okay. Her 1DX is okay though, and that's all that matters. This part is like just down from the main waterfall. It's really beautiful, so we're gonna go and explore and see what we can find. We also decided to go the hard way. There was a much easier way to get here, but we jumped over rocks, we scaled things, but we finally made it. I feel like a expectation versus reality. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, there's some tourists here. Um, not many at all though. But it is really, really hard to get the shot. So we tried to, sorry my fingers blur, it's uh, my Sigma lens. We tried to get the shot on this thing right here and the lens just kept getting wet. It was literally impossible. So we moved over here like by this little bush area and the shot actually looks pretty cool. This is like one of the coolest waterfalls I think I've ever been to. Anymore. How was that, guys? That was a good time. So, so wet, and 
there's also, so basically there's a long way around, like over there, but we decided to take the shortcut, which takes you right through here. I also just peed in a river over there. talking about you have to climb about a hundred of them but you get to this magical waterfall I, I hold on to this storm cuz I need to be swept away swept away I, another absolute monsoon basically we were trekking up what was a river trying to get back with a broken umbrella like over our heads guys instagram thought it was glamorous but we got the shot we got some really cool videos so i'm glad we trekked out here but it took yeah a total of like three and a half hours of driving like a 45 minute hike um i guess total by the time we got down there it wasn't the hike itself it wasn't that bad i would recommend doing this if you guys are in the area and wanting to get a really cool shot also to get one shot it took us five hours so there's Instagram for you. A little bit wet. I've managed to scrunch my hair. Do you guys see this thing over here? They're now charging. A hair in my mouth. They're now charging 30, well he tried to say 50 per person to take a photo by the gates. This is just like the front of a golf course. Such a money grab. Like it's just, last time I was here, this definitely was not a thing where you had to pay to take a photo by the gates. I get why they're doing it. But I was just like, no, it says 30 on the ticket. And he's like, okay, 30,000. I'm like, oh my gosh. We're gonna get some B-roll, shoot the drone, fly the drone, we don't shoot the drone. And then head out, quite tired, honestly, but the weather down here is so nice, it's not raining. So I'm really excited about that. Clouds are like perfectly placed behind the gate. So I think it's gonna make a really nice photo. A secret kiss from painted lips yeah, we can move and move in A taken bed, a sun to set And maybe we're falling, falling Finally finished the Bali Gates. I mean, kind of an overshot spot, but we're up north. The photo does look kind of cool, so I figure we may as well get it. There's also a bunch of tourists and that kind of thing, because um, so many people know about this from Instagram. Honestly, a lot of spots have become really popular from Instagram. I'm also eating Oreos. I bought these mini Oreos. I'm, oh, whoa. <laughs> We're good. Thank you. Lisa and I got the same thing, and Megan got a salad. And we got green juice as well, so good. All right guys, so that is the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Honestly, this B-roll was some of my favorite that I think I've ever gotten. Um, I'm gonna be also cutting down a bunch of shorts for like Instagram and that kind of thing. So if you guys aren't following me on there, definitely make sure to do so. And also, if you guys haven't turned on my post notifications yet, make sure to subscribe and do that so you guys can get notified exactly when I am posting a new video. And I also want to end off this video with doing a little channel feature that I'm doing in every single video video um, or like every other video if it's not every single one so I want to feature Mel Jean Salone I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong but I think 
I think that is it. Um, and she has a really awesome lifestyle travel channel where she does vlogs all around the Philippines. And as you guys know, I am headed there next. And I've seen a bunch of her videos and they are really fun and upbeat and she seems super awesome. So definitely make sure to go subscribe. You guys can click the link down below. This is what her channel looks like. And comment on a video and telling her I sent you. And yeah, that is about it. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.